This is a YouTube short, and what you're about to watch is a complete guide on how to make one. Shorts are YouTube's answer to TikTok. No doubt you've seen the Shorts shelf by now. Each video is less than 60 seconds long, watched in vertical or portrait mode, and the layout is very similar to what you already find on TikTok. Shorts have proven to be a great way to build audiences fast. For example, in six months, 3D animator Jake Feldman's YouTube Shorts have brought in almost 5 million subscribers and over 3.5 billion views. You can't monetize YouTube Shorts yet, but we'll come back to that later. If you don't have access to this Shorts camera tool yet, don't worry, you can still make YouTube Shorts. Simply upload your video as you usually would do, but make sure it's in vertical video format and less than 60 seconds long, and that will qualify it as a YouTube Short. For a full tutorial on this, check out the video on screen now. Hey folks, I'm Rob. Welcome back to vidIQ, educating you on your YouTube journey, and today's lesson is all about Finally, that YouTube Shorts camera tool. Now there is a lot to get through. I don't want to waste your time. So let's just get straight into it. Once you have access to YouTube Shorts from the YouTube mobile app homepage, tap on the plus button at the bottom of the screen and then tap on create a short. There are no channel requirements, such as a certain number of subscribers or views to make YouTube Shorts, but currently YouTube are very slow to roll this out to all users. The default record time for Shorts is 15 seconds, but you can record up to 60 seconds. Tap the number here above the record button to adjust the time. You can upload a video you've already recorded on your phone by using the button in the bottom left hand corner. If you do this, you'll be taken to the video editor page where you can trim down the video if you need to. Tap next to take you to the next screen. We'll talk about this in more detail later. For now, let's go back to the recording screen. You have three main recording features. Flip obviously jumps between the front and rear facing camera on your phone. The speed button allows you to adjust the speed of a recording. If you set the slider to very fast, you can record for longer and this will create the effect of a time lapse. If you set the slider to very slow, you can record for a very short amount of time and that puts it into a slow motion video. Do bear in mind though that the frame rate doesn't compensate, so you'll end up with some very jerky footage like this. You can set a record countdown timer for up to 20 seconds, as well as setting a time limit for how long you want to record a video. In this example, I've set the countdown to 20 seconds and the video would record for exactly seven seconds before stopping. There are two ways to record a video. You can tap to start and then tap to stop or hold onto the record button and then release to end the recording. You can record as many scenes as you like. At the top of the screen is the timeline showing you how much time you have left. Each white notch represents a scene and you can use the undo and redo symbols next to the record button to remove or re-add videos you've recorded. If you need to finish off your current YouTube short later, you can do so by tapping on the cross button and choosing save and exit. Upon returning to the shorts camera, you will be asked to carry on your previous short or start a brand new one. Now it looks like this add music feature is currently in development, so the specifics may change, but this is how it generally works. You can search and scroll through popular music tracks, favorite them, preview them, and add them to your own YouTube shorts. Now when you press the record button, you'll be able to hear the music and sync whatever crazy stuff you want to do to the beat of the tune. Now yeah, I don't really know what to tell you what I'm doing here other than to let you know that the script simply said, dance like your life depended on it. Clearly my life isn't very valuable. The alternative way to do this is to pick music after recording the video. Once you've advanced to the next screen, you can choose some music if you haven't already done so. What we're going to do here is add the same music as last time, but the problem now is that it doesn't sync correctly with the video. This is where the adjust music feature will help you not only pick the exact piece of music you want, but time it correctly with your video. Simply tap, hold and slide the music to the desired location in the track. This music feature is a pretty deep rabbit hole because when you're watching YouTube Shorts, you will see an audio sample button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which if tapped, will show you all the videos that have used that audio, the audio source and the ability to start creating your own short 
using that audio. It doesn't necessarily have to be popular music either. As we currently understand it, any audio from any YouTube show is up for grabs. You won't get a copyright claim, but it can only be used for personal, non-commercial use. For more information on YouTube Shorts permissions and copyright, watch this full explainer video on screen now. As well as adding music, you can also add text to your YouTube Shorts. If you've ever used Instagram Stories or indeed YouTube Stories, you'll be very familiar with how this works. You can change the font, the background, the color, resize it and put it anywhere on the video. You can also add multiple blocks of text, but just like the music, you may want the text to work with the video. This is where the timeline feature comes into play. It allows you to trim the text boxes so they appear and disappear when you want them to during a video. Simply tap and drag the ends of the text boxes to match what's happening in the video. I mean, come on folks, if this YouTube short doesn't go viral, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong to be honest. Well, I think it's a masterpiece, so let's upload it. Now this might freak out seasoned YouTube creators a little bit. You can't upload a custom thumbnail, nor can you write a video description or add video tags. This makes your video title super important because it's doing all of the heavy lifting. So keep it short so it doesn't get cut off and make it impactful. You can also add hashtag shorts to your title and you probably should as it may increase the visibility of your content. But there are no guarantees as there are millions of creators making tens of millions of YouTube shorts already. Other than setting the visibility of a video, the only thing left to do is upload it. Now, if you do want to make further changes to the video's metadata, you can go into the video library after the video has uploaded, tap the three dots next to the video, and then you can add a video description and tags. But if you want to upload a thumbnail, you will need to do it through the YouTube Studio app or do it via a desktop browser in the YouTube Studio. So those are the important nuts and bolts of making a YouTube short. But what about best practices? Let's talk about that right now. Should you make a custom thumbnail for your YouTube shorts? And the answer depends on your traffic sources. Viewers can see your YouTube shorts outside of YouTube shorts. I know that sounds daft, but that's the way YouTube have decided to do things. So if you are getting traffic from browse features, suggested videos, search, it may be worth making custom thumbnails for your YouTube shorts. Also consider that YouTube adds a shorts shelf to your channel page on both desktop and mobile by default. So do consider how attractive or indeed how ugly that may look without custom thumbnails. Now let's consider the videos themselves. Yes, you can make square YouTube shorts if you want to, but you will have to contend with letterboxing. That's where there's going to be huge black bars at the top and the bottom of the video. And that may cause a distraction to the viewer, so do bear that in mind. At the same time, you also have to consider there are video details at the bottom of the screen and engagement tools over to the right. So don't put anything important on your videos in those parts of the screen. There are no traditional calls to actions on YouTube Shorts, those being end screens and interactive cards. But what you might consider doing is adding a pinned comment to your YouTube Shorts because when viewers go to the comments for that YouTube Short, the first comment they will see is your your pinned comment and you could send them to other videos, your channel and so on. When it comes to YouTube Shorts, consider the viewer intent. Most likely they want to be entertained, but they could want to be inspired and educated. The key thing is they want that experience as quickly as possible. Just because you have 60 seconds, don't use that time if you don't need it. Audience retention on YouTube Shorts is absolutely critical, not necessarily overall watch time. Ideally, you want your audience watching your video more than once. And some creators are even looping their videos intentionally for amazing audience retention numbers. And finally, the best content, as always, is shareable content. Consider why you share certain things with your friends and family. It's because that video impacted you in a significant way and you want others to share in that experience. Be it happiness, laughter, inspiration, even a moving story that brings you to tears. Incredibly, YouTube Shorts can do all of this in as little as five seconds. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot. Can creators monetize at Shorts? 
Well, here's what YouTube have had to say so far. YouTube has helped an entire generation of creators turn their creativity into businesses and become the next generation media companies. Over the last three years, YouTube have paid out more than 30 billion to creators, artists, and media companies. Shorts is a new way to watch and create on YouTube. So we're taking a fresh look at what it means to monetize shorts and reward creators for their content. We are deeply committed to supporting the next generation of mobile creators with shorts and are actively working on what monetization options will look like in the future. Now, if you want to learn a whole lot more about the YouTube shorts universe, make sure to check out the playlist over here. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Go get creating.